Hello YouTube, this is Ben Gessel. I'm going to do a food review today. And I, I'm not trying to, I know there's a YouTube um, channel that I've watched a fair bit in the past called Old Nerd Reviews. I'm not trying to take his glory, I know. But he does these reviews of fast food uh, things. And I just had to do a review of this tonight though. It's the Jack in the Box ribeye burger. And I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how much it usually goes for, but um, they have this um, deal recently where you could, I guess I got a coupon for two for three. At least my landlord did, and he gave it to me. Two for th two ribeye uh, burgers for three dollars. Oh, sorry, two dollars each. That's six dollars. So two bu two ribeye burgers, two dollars each. Uh, all total six dollars. So here's the box of the ribeye burger. Let's see, ribeye burger. And uh, does it have nutrition stuff on it? I don't know. I just remember um, uh, and Tony, the old uh, the guy who does the old food, old new reviews, always has these uh, health things or oh, he has like the nutrition facts, right? Anyway, I'm gonna at least do a uh, say one through. I usually do like a one through ten, so one through five um, uh, taste test. So I've had one of these before, but I'm going to pretend that I have not had one of these before. Oh, I'm going to a little bit less expel. I'm just going to pretend that uh, this is the first time I've had it, having it, because I was really hungry. Okay. So here is the burger. You can see kind of you put they put a lot of lettuce in this stuff, and of course I like to have burgers with no cheese. So it generally comes with cheese. This one just doesn't have. Cheese on it, but you can see uh, the burger is in there, it's just kind of hiding a little bit. Uh, it's be hiding behind all the lettuce. You get a little, you get a nice red onion on it, and some tomato. So you put, they put a lot of veggies on this. A little bit of some kind of sauce. All right, uh, all right here we go. Right. Maybe one more bite. No. I imagine it's not the healthiest thing to eat, but it's definitely healthier than a lot of burgers out there. It's how much much vegetables they put on there, quality of the beef. So, as far as burger, burgers go, I was just talking about burgers. This is this is a uh, maybe by the, by the border between eight and nine. Uh, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if it's quite where the uh, What a, I don't know if it's quite where the Five Guys burgers and fries are. Uh, Five Guys has really good burgers. But getting there, it's very least in eight, probably. But for Jack in the Box, this is probably one of the best burgers. Might be the best one. Sort of Jack's are pretty good, but you know. This is high quality ingredients, fresh. A lot of veggies. It feels healthier, a little bit. So I, yeah, as far as burgers go, I'd give us an eight, eight to a nine. Um, as far as in general, just general taste, it's definitely still a an eight. Very low is a seven. So the ribeye burger, it's gonna be, it should be pretty popular, I think. I know it's a teensy bit. It's not really that pricey. I guess you know with that coupon, it's a really awesome deal. So I'm just have one more bite here. Finish. Okay, so here's my advertisement for Jack in the Box. <laughs> Definitely 
Check it out. Jack in the Box for Burger. Oh yeah. Alright. Catch you guys later.